So this function here is grabbing the data as an associative array and we're putting it inside query row. Therefore, inside our while statement, what we call our while um, loop, we can um, echo out this specific data. So we can echo out um, query row. Remember, we're using a, an array, so we use square brackets here. Now, this corresponds to the row, the uh, field name that you want to uh, show. So I just want to show the name. So I'm just going to type name into here. Uh, we're going to append a line break on the end just to keep things nice and neat and tidy. Um, and what we can do is, if um, it is greater than one, we can echo up here, say, um, results found. And what we can also do is we can we can um, echo out the number of results found. So uh, let's take this. Um, well, well, I'll demonstrate the uh, the way the program's working at the moment, and then we can make that slight modification. So let's go and refresh the page. Uh, okay, so I'm going to type in Alex and click search. You can see that results found Alex Garrett and Alex Malcolm. Now let's search for Garrett and click search. You can see that we've found everyone with the surname Garrett. Now let's just type in Dale, click search. We can see we've found one result. Let's type G-A-R-R, -R. again everyone with that. Let's type in A and you see we've received all results because every um, result has an A in it or every record has an A in it. Now we can protect against this. You could, um, you could for example, say um, if the query string is smaller than a length of four, which is what most applications do do. They don't allow you to search for data that's under, say, a four characters because you'll return too many results. So let's just go ahead and, uh, and do that. So uh, if um, empty search name, so inside here we're going to say if strlen search name is greater than or smaller than, oh yeah we can say or is greater than um, or equal to 5 uh, or 4 we'll say, greater than or equal to 4 then execute all this code, um, let's find where the got 1 to um, closing so we'll put that there and then we're going to indent all of this so essentially what I've just done is I've added in another if statement saying if the string length of search name so we're using the string length function of search name is greater than or equal to 4 then we can run all this code then otherwise we echo your keyword must be five characters or more so now, if we try to say um, Alex, this is going to work because it is greater than or equal to. If we would say A now and click search, your keyword must be five characters or more. So we're now coming into more of a search engine based uh, tutorial, I guess. Um, and um, uh, there's a couple of more things we need to address or one more thing that we need to address. And that is how many results that are found. So I'm going to go ahead and take out this here and I'm going to put it into a new variable called query num rows so now what I can do is I can substitute this in here query num rows and we can also echo out here query num rows dot space and results found so this is going to say a number uh, and this is the same number as well so we're, we're using this variable that's why I took it out and popped it into this variable here um, and we're appending on a space and then results found so let's go ahead and type in Alex click search two results found this was displaying two results now let's go ahead and type in Garrett and you can see that three results are found in it's displaying so this is the like um, condition in um, in PHP like I said you can use this with underscores to represent specific characters so we're filling in the blanks for specific characters uh, and also we can use our wildcards on the left right hand side or on either side of our uh, of our value that we're trying to match to. So we've created a little program that search for names. You can use this to search for absolutely any data. You just need to uh, take into account what I've said and uh, represent the uh, field names uh, with the names that you want to search with.